Hi Unity fans, I get many requests from you guys to create Unity tutorials for beginners, so here's one about triggers. I'm using Unity 2018 here, but you can use older versions as well. This is a new scene that just contains a directional light and a camera, and what I do now is to import the characters asset, because I want to demonstrate how to use triggers by using a third person character. So I disable here the first person character and the roller ball, because we don't need it. Then I press import. Ok, after it is imported, let's go ahead and create some 3D objects. First a simple plane. And I will scale this up a bit. Like that. And after that, I add a cube. Ok, now we have two objects and both of them have a box collider attached. So what is a collider? Well, it is a shape around an object that is not visible in the game and it has the purpose of creating physical collisions with other objects that also have colliders. Here you can see it, it is this green box and you can see this now because I disabled the mesh renderer, the rendering component of the cube. Here I activate it again. I will show the behavior now in the game by using an example, so I drag in a third person character prefab. This one here. This is the character Ethan and he also has a collider, a capsule collider, so he will collide with the box. But before I start the game I select the camera and then I choose Game Object Align with View. Now the camera is aligned, you can see this in the lower right hand corner, the camera preview, and then I start the game and you can see this in action. Ok, so what happens here is that the colliders prevent that Ethan can go through this cube. But this video is not about colliders, it is about triggers, right? But what is a trigger? Well, a trigger is a collider for which the isTrigger property is set to true. And when I check this, the character or other objects won't collide again with the trigger. But what is the purpose now of this trigger? Let me show this by using an example. I will scale down the cube now to get a kind of small platform. Then I select Edit Collider and bring the top face a bit upwards. Ok, now we have a shape like this and then I enable Is Trigger. What I want to do now is to change the color of this platform when the player is entering this trigger area. And as you can see there is no collision anymore, I can step onto this platform. But now the question is, how do I know that the player is entering this platform? And this is where scripting comes into play, yes, c -sharp scripting. A good habit is to create a new folder for your scripts and call it scripts for example. And inside of this folder we are going to create a new c -sharp script and call it, let's say, trigger test. Then I select my object again and drag the script into the inspector to add it as a component. Ok, that's it, our script is attached and now I double click it to open Visual Studio. So here's my c -sharp class, it's also called trigger test, like the file, and what I have to add now is a method to react on trigger enter. This c -sharp method is called on trigger enter and if you want to know how to use it, you can open the Unity scripting API reference and most of the time there is an example code that you can just copy and paste into your class. So I copied this here and then I removed the destroy call because we don't want to destroy the object, we want to change the color. So how can this be done? First I have to get the renderer component that is attached to the game object and this renderer has a property for the material and the material has a property called color to which I can assign the new color that I want to set. Ok, now I can start the game and walk onto this platform and it will change to green.
Okay, this works, but what I also want to do is change the color of the platform back to the old one when the player is leaving this area. And this is also very simple. There is a method named onTriggerExit that is called when the player or another object is leaving the trigger. But I need to store the old color in the onTriggerEnter and I use a private variable for this called m underscore old color. And in the onTriggerExit, I will reset the color to this one. All right, so let's test this again. And this works as expected. So that's it, but there's one thing that you have to keep in mind. Trigger events are only sent if one of the colliders has a rigid body attached. If not, the onTriggerEnter or onTriggerExit methods are not called in your scripts. That's important. What's also interesting is that your methods onTriggerEnter and onTriggerExit are also called if your script, your mono behavior, is disabled. You can see this here, I disabled the script, but still the trigger events are sent. Okay guys, that's what I wanted to show you for triggers in Unity. I really hope you find it interesting and useful. And if you do, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching this. Perhaps you want to support me on my Patreon. This would be really awesome. And I hope to see you soon here again on JNM.